So, here we are, May 2020, and I'm looking at a vise that I found in the dump, and ostensibly it looks not bad. It has a uh, uh, swivel base, so you loosen these, these two bolts and they swivel and so on. But what I found was when you look closer, as I try to do this with one hand, you'll see there's a great big honking weld right here. And in fact, there's the same kind of weld on the other side, and there's a weld inside here. Some ham-fisted Yahoo, is the only way I can describe it, really reefed on the on the vise and cracked it. And so what what I had done was to clean it off and I thought okay well I can give it a shot fixing it up. We'll see. Another challenge with this vise was the misalignment of the uh, jaws. And you can see the uh, spacer that I had to put in right here for the two uh, screws that hold the jaws so that the two jaws, the stable one and the movable one, would be parallel. Let me uh, open it up, if I can, with one hand. See, I got I got the jaws fairly parallel, but that took a bit of fussing to try and find the the amount of space that I needed to close that nice and tight. And I think that may have been one of the reasons why this thing broke, so that this jaw hit first and then torqued this whole movable jaw over, and that's what caused the crack. So here I've uh, pulled the movable jaw out of the body of the vise and it's uh, you can see in, in the inside here you can see the, the screw and then inside here it threads into that fitting pulls the jaw tight. The finish on the casting is not very good it's pretty rough in there, but I mean, who cares? It's not not a cosmetic contest. And here you can see the two screws that I had to to adjust to get the jaws to be parallel. But anyway, let's have a look at this this movable part. You can see inside. Right in here you can see the weldment and then on the other side here I think you can still see right in the corner the remains of the crack. And certainly over here you can see the, the crack and then over here and the uh, weldment across the, the base of it. So what I did to, f to uh, repair this vise was to weld this cast, uh, cast iron. Um, it's actually ductile iron, but it's pretty close to, to cast iron. Welding cast iron is no joke. It's uh, not particularly easy. And essentially what I had to do was to make a fixture that would heat all of this area here. You can see the discoloration in the paint. This was really, this was dull red in here. This is the uh, the burner that I used. It's about 
an inch or two and a half centimeters uh, in diameter so I was able to heat the inside of this this vise. I don't know if we can see Trying to get a better angle here. Anyway, I heated this whole area. I removed the, the screw and you can see right in here there's there's weldment. That's where I started the welding. And uh, this area here was dull red, so this thing was hot. That took about 20 minutes with this with this burner and then I would come at it with my stick welder using a 7014 rod and you can see what I what I had to do I would weld probably half an inch which would be 10 12 millimeters and then put the burner back on so that it would never cool down then weld another half an inch so that you're not putting all that much heat into this whole area and then put the burner back on and essentially what you're trying to do is minimize the amount of heat that you're putting into the cast iron with the electric arc and then maintain as high a temperature as you can. What I found that when I was welding the sparks were coming out, funny sparks, and I think what was happening is the carbon in the cast iron was in fact coming out as sparks. And you can see that I then welded it and I gr made it a little prettier by grinding it a little bit but since it was outside of the area that engages with the slides on the body of the vise having this kind of uh, not particularly pretty weldment is okay and so that that's how I fix that vise. I'm not sure how strong it's going to be. I, I haven't really tried doing it, but uh, with the realignment and then with this weldment, and that's on both sides. Let's see if I can do that. Again, with one hand, it's a bit... Yeah, you can see the the weldment on the other side. Uh, hopefully that'll that'll hold. I got about about 50 percent penetration in the uh, V that I had cut on those uh, in preparing for that weld. So it's down about halfway. I don't know if you can see that. That's about 50 percent of that. So that's that's about as deep as I'd, I'd want to go. There you have the uh, repaired vice ready for service.